Hello everyone, this is Singh once again from Chanson Water Canada. Uh, today we'll be resetting the filter count on the Miracle Max new one with the PJ7000. Okay, um, the resetting is still the same, just the filter is different. Um, the only reason is that this is my own personal one and it is now having this thing. Okay, you guys know. You, every day when you guys wake up you hear this voice when you're using the machine and you're running the water and when you shut it off okay Please be ready to change the filter. Uh, that, that's what I have been hearing and then now I'm ready to change do the change of the filter uh, if you guys do hear this it is and wondering if there was a 6,000 over and why is it asking you to change the filter Technically, you're supposed to change either one, either six out, whichever the leader is used up first, or whatever comes first will be the month. So uh, it's either twelve months or nine thousand liters. So you know, you guys know it's a reverse count. I only use about four thousand liters as per the machine, um, and or twelve months. So it's been about twelve months. Uh, since I last changed, so it is time to change the filters. Uh, it, should, it is whichever come first. It's like if you guys know cars, you either change the oil every um, some cars are every six months or 10,000 kilometers, whichever one comes first. So sometimes in the old one is 5,000 kilometers or every three months, whichever come first, right? So whichever come first. So you either use up the liters or you is ever after 12 months um you have to change it after 12 months regardless whether you use it or not especially if it's sit sitting stagnant the bacteria count in the water will become too high and become actually more unclean all right okay so don't um leave it alone and now we're just going to proceed with the changed okay with the pg7000 okay Another thing, PJ8000 is the same as PJ7000, okay? So whichever one it is, um, they're both the same. So PJ7000, PJ8000, they're both the same. Okay, um, another thing, go back to it, look at it, it says this lock and then open, right? So open and then up, it goes it's quickly, or else there's going to be some water. And it says in and closed, so goes in, make sure it's totally in, flat, okay, not halfway, and then closed. All right, and then, and that's it. I'm just changing the filter. You guys will be asking, how come you didn't do a citric acid wash? Uh, that will be in a different video. Just today is just to show you guys how to change the filters. All right. Technically, after one year, you should be at least doing once the citric acid washed um, before you change the filter. But just this is just to show you the filter changed. Okay. Um, Please watch the other uh, video on how to do a citric acid wash. You should be doing a citric acid wash every two to three months. I, I have to be clear on that. Um, it does make a difference on the hydrogen level or the antioxidant level produced by the machine. Okay. All right. And the next step, you guys do after you t change the filter, right? And you turn it on. And it's still the same right and 
it's running whatever it it will be like this because it's full of air in there okay all right it's full of air in the new filter okay if it's old you wouldn't do that all right so it's normal for it to be something strange right after you change the filter because there's air in the filters right so that's it okay all right it is still there, but you have to reset it. Okay. So in order to reset it, you got to put a hand on the, your finger on the mode and hold, press and hold. Okay. Until you change green and then press one, two, three, four. Okay. Once you see this on the plus, okay, press mode and plus at the same time. and it changes to 9000 notice that it, this also changed to 10 it accidentally jumped to it right so just for me in vancouver i set it at about 50 to 60 doesn't matter and then after press enter one more time get to another phase like tds or even like this doesn't matter whichever one and then press mode and hold and gets out once it's not blinking anymore it is all good now you see it's all 9000 okay and you turn it on and that's it okay and then you grab a cup and taste the water right And if you guys have another filter, uh, pre-filter system like the PF207 or the C3, please also remember to change it at least once a year. Same thing, if the water is um, polluted with too much bacteria, then uh, it becomes actually becomes unsafe, all right? It's not how much you use. Oh, I'm a single person, I stay only alone. No, the, the crap doesn't work. There is no chlorine technically in the water. So anything going through the bacteria count can build up, especially if you don't use it. Okay. Um, you... So do order. If you guys do need to order, you can contact me or contact one of the dealers. And if you guys um, enjoy this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you don't, give me a thumbs down. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please give me a thumbs